Dear students, welcome to the video Arithmetic Progression. Arithmetic progression is actually a sequence is a sequence in which the difference between any two consecutive terms uh, consecutive terms is a constant this constant this constant is called common difference common difference denoted by by d lowercase d the first term the first term of the sequence of the progression or progression is shown by lowercase a now look at this uh, progression here for example 2 5 8 11 so on so forth as you see here as you see here the difference between 2 and 5 is 3 5 and 8 is 3 8 and 11 is 3 be careful any two consecutive terms means terms coming right after each other so it is the general definition of uh, uh, an arithmetic progression As you see here, the constant 3 is added to the first term to obtain the second term. Then 3 again is added to the second term to obtain the third term. Or in other words, you can say that in order to find the first term, you add 1, 3. In order to add the second term, you add 2 times 3 to the first term. Because you know you need to take 2 steps and each step is 3 units. To obtain the third term, fourth term, sorry, here, 3, 3 actually is added uh, to the first term to obtain the fourth term. Now, uh, let's uh, use the same uh, pattern in order to find a general formula for terms in an arithmetic progression. As we learned here, the first term of the progression is shown by uh, a lowercase a so I write here first term then second term then third term fourth and here nth term Here, you know that the first term of the uh, arithmetic progression is denoted by A. And D is the common difference. It means that you are moving at the step of D. D units is added to obtain the second term, you know, following terms. So in order to obtain the second term, you, want, uh, you need to add 1D to the first term. So it will become A plus 1D. To obtain the third term, to obtain the third term, one more d should be added so it would be a plus 2d in order to obtain the fourth term so a plus one more d should be added to the previous term so it will be a plus 3d now as you see here in order to find the second term one d is added to the first term. in order to add the third term two d's is uh, are added to the first term 
here for uh, finding the fourth term three d's is added to the first term because you need to take one two three steps to obtain the fourth term so as you see here the number of these added is one less than the position of the term here is second one is added for the third two is added for the fourth three is added so uh, in order to find the nth term n minus d uh, should be added to the first term so it would be a plus n minus one d so we found the formula in order to find answer in an arithmetic progression you should use the formula a plus n minus 1 d in which n here is the number of term a is the first term and d is the uh, common difference look at the first example find the number of terms in the arithmetic progression negative 3 1 5 9 13 and the last term is 237 as you see here the first term which is denoted by a is negative 3 as you notice here each term each term is 4 more than the last term negative 3 plus 4 will be 1 1 plus 4 5 5 plus 4 9 9 plus 4 13 and until the last term so the common difference is 4 in this progression now we know that two, the last term here is the two, uh, the term 237. So we know that n term is obtained by the formula a plus n minus 1 d. Now let's uh, substitute whatever values we already have. Now last term is known 237. First term is known as well, negative 3 plus number of terms is unknown. And D is the common difference, which is 4. Now you need to find N in this example. Now to find N, I first transfer negative 3 to the other side. It will be 240 is equal to 4 times N minus 1. Then uh, to get rid of this 4, I divide both sides by 4. So it will be 6 is equal to n minus 1. So n will be equal to 61. So it means that there are 61 terms in this progression. Example 2. The fourth term of an arithmetic progression is 7. And the tenth term is 16. Find the first term and the common difference. Now. We know that the nth term of an arithmetic progression is found by the formula a plus n minus 1 d. Now, we have two given terms. It says the fourth term is 7. So it means that a4 is equal to 7. The other given information is the tenth term. So a10 is equal to 16. Now, so a4 means a plus instead of n put 4 it would be a plus 4 minus 1 will be 3d is equal to 7 and a10 will be a plus instead of n uh, n is replaced by 10 it would be 10 minus 1 would be 9d is equal to 16. now you have simultaneous equations to solve so if you subtract them these two uh, equations from each other they cancel out each other it would be 3 minus 9 negative uh, 60 is equal to 7 minus 16 negative 9 so d will be equal to 1.5 now in order to find a you replace in one of the equations I use the first one it would be a plus 3 times 1.5 is equal to 7 so a plus 4.5 is equal to 7 so a will be equal to 2.5 
Example 3. The nth term of an arithmetic progression is 5 uh, minus 6n. So 5 minus 6n is nth term. Find the first term and the common difference. So uh, first term means n is 1. So uh, a first term means n is 1. So replace 1 here. 5 minus 6 times 1, which is negative 1, so it is the first term. To find the common difference, so if we have two consecutive terms, the difference will be, uh, will be giving you the common difference. So I find the second term. In order to find the second term, I replace n by 2. So a2 will be 5 minus 6 times 2, so 5 minus 12, which is negative 7. It is the first term and it is the uh, first term is negative 1, second term is negative 7. So the difference will be, uh, actually common difference will be a2 minus a1 which is negative 7 minus negative 1 which is negative 6. So your common difference is negative 6. Dear students, welcome to the video, the sum of terms in an arithmetic progression. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the sum of terms in an arithmetic progression. The sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression is denoted by Sn. So Sn is actually the sum of first term plus second term plus third term and n till the nth term. So Sn is equal to, we know that the first term is denoted by a. The second term is a plus 1d. I put it in brackets. The third term is a plus 2d. Then the last term will be a plus n minus 1d. Now, as you see here, all the n terms here have a in common. So uh, I write a plus a plus a, then the a for the last term, then plus you have 1d here, then 2d here plus n minus 1d. So, as you see here, there are n a's. So, sn will be equal to n a plus, now, d is in uh, common for all the n minus 1 terms. So, I can write d times 1 plus 2 plus n minus 1, So it will be equal to then Na plus. From Gauss uh, formula, in order to add n consecutive integers, so we will have last term times the last term plus 1, which will be n, over 2. So Sn will be equal to Na plus n times n minus 1 over 2 times d. Now let's change the form of the formula. Uh, I factor n over 2, n over 2. So from the first term, n has been factored. So we need to have uh, to put 2a here because 2 and 2 will cancel out each other. Then it will become n a is exactly the term here plus n over 2 is factored outside the brackets so n minus 1 times d remains so it is the formula that you need to know in order to add the first n terms in an arithmetic progression now let's do something to obtain another formula is equal to n over 2 
instead of 2a, I just write a plus a plus n minus 1 d. So, as you remember, the nth term of an arithmetic progression or the last term can be obtained by the formula a plus n minus 1 d. So, sn is equal to n over 2 a plus instead of a plus n minus 1 d, I put l. So, it is the other formula can be implemented in order to find the sum of first n terms when you have the last term of the progression. There is a key point that you need to pay attention to is that sometimes in some uh, questions you are given sum of uh, n terms and sum of n minus 1 terms of an arithmetic progression and you are supposed to find uh, some information concerning the progression. So you need to know that Sn minus Sn minus 1 will be giving you n term because Sn, Sn is actually a1, uh, a2 till the n term and Sn minus 1 is equal to a1, the first term till a n minus 1. If you subtract these two progressions from each other, so Sn minus Sn minus 1 will be giving you, they cancel out each other. So the term before a n is a n minus 1 will be cancelling out a n minus 1 from S n minus 1. So the other term left here will be a n. So the nth term uh, will, will be equal to S n minus S minus uh, S n minus 1. Example number 1 for the sum of terms in an uh, arithmetic progression. In an arithmetic progression, the first term is negative 12. So a is negative 12 and the 17th term. So a 17 is 12 and the last term uh, is equal to 45. We don't know which term. So find the sum of all the terms in an arithmetic in this progression actually. Now, first uh, we start uh, to work out the common difference. So we know that a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. So we have the 17th term which is 12 is equal to negative 12 plus n minus 1 which is 17th term 17 minus 1 times common difference. So uh, it will be equal to 24 is equal to 16d so d will be equal to 24 divided by 16 which simplifies to 3 over 2 now let's see how many terms we have in this progression so we know that again i use the formula of n term so 45 is equal to a which is negative 12 plus n minus 1 times d which is 3 over 2 uh, it would be 57 is equal to 3 over 2 times n minus 1 so I multiply both sides by 3 over 2 over 3 so if it would be 57 times 2 over 3 is equal to n minus 1 then so uh, both of them are divisible by 3 and divide by 319 it would be 1 so n will be 39 so which is the number of terms here we need uh, actually we have all the needs in order to find the total sum of all the terms in this progression so sn which is s39 is equal to n over 2 uh, so 39 over 2 I use the second formula a plus l because we have both first term and the last term so negative 12 
plus 45, which will give you an answer of 6, uh, sorry, 643 and half as the sum of all the terms in this progression. Example 2. The tenth term of an arithmetic progression is 14 and the sum of the first seven terms is 42. Find the first term of the progression and the common difference. Now, uh, the tenth term, so a10 is equal to uh, 14. So the formula of tenth term is a plus n minus 1, which is 10 minus 1. So it would be 9. And d is equal to 14. Uh, and it says the sum of the first seven terms is 42. The sum of the first seven terms, so a7 is equal to, a7, sorry, is equal to 42. So the formula of seven terms is uh, n over 2. So uh, it will be 7 over 2, 2a, unknown, plus n minus 1, which is 7 minus 1, so 6d is equal to 42 if you multiply them 2 to cancel out it would be 7a uh, plus 21d is equal to 42 you have one equation here and another equation here equation 1 equation 2 then you need to solve simultaneous equations a plus 9d is equal to 14 and 7a plus 21d is equal to 42 after solving simultaneous equations you can make here a the subject a is equal to 14 minus 90 so replace it in the second one so it will be 7 times 14 minus 9d plus 21d is equal to 42 so 7 times it would be 98 minus 63d plus 21d is equal to 42 uh, so it would be minus 42 63 minus 21, negative 63d plus 21, it would be negative 42d uh, is equal to uh, 42 minus 98. So negative 42d is equal to uh, negative 56. So d will be equal to 56, negative, negative cancel out each other over 42 uh, both are divisible by uh, 7 it will be 8 over 6 which is uh, we can simplify by 2 one more time 4 over 3 now you have d which is common difference so replace it here so we replace uh, d here a will be equal to 14 minus 9 times 4 over 3 it will be simplified to 3 then a will be equal to 14 minus 12 giving you an answer of 2 so we found uh, both first term and the common difference in these parts Example 3 for this part, the sum of the first n terms Sn of a particular arithmetic progression is given by Sn is equal to 4n squared plus n. First part, find the first term and the common difference. Part B, find an expression for the nth term. So for the first part, we know that first term is, uh, is actually equal to S1 because S1 means the sum of the first term actually because there is just one term so instead of n put 1 in the formula so it would be 4 1 squared plus 1 which is 5 so the first term is 5 now s2 let's first find s2 s2 is 4 2 squared plus 2 which is 18 
S2 means the sum of the first two terms. S2 is actually A1 plus A2, the first term plus the second term. So uh, 18 is equal to first term, which is uh, 5 plus second term. So second term means 13. So in order to find the common difference, uh, we can write the second term minus the first term which is equal to 13 minus 5, giving you an answer of 8. So the common difference for this progression is 8. Uh, second part says find an expression for the nth term. nth term will be equal to a plus n minus 1. So a n will be equal to a, the first term, which is 5, plus n minus 1, d is 8. So a n will be equal to here will be minus 8, 5 minus 8 will be negative 3 plus 8. And it is the formula of answer for this problem.